In today's society, electricity takes a major part of most people's everyday life. We use it to lighten our homes, charge our phones, and in recent time, many people also use it to power their cars. The way we access electricity is through a complex network connecting all the electricity producers with their end customers, together in what we call a power grid. As electricity cannot be stored in large scale, the produced electricity needs to equal the consumed electricity at all times, which is done with advanced mechanisms in the grid. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, but what I care most about is how much do I have to pay? That's a good question, Jonge. Actually, the electricity market is pretty complex itself, affected by factors as weather, how much the producer expects to produce each day, and also how much the electricity is expected to be consumed. Another important factor is how much the power is expected to be lost through transportation in the grid. This is actually something the owner of the power grid have to inform the market of a day ahead to make it possible to plan the production and pricing. This can be a very difficult task for a power grid operator as it requires them to forecast the grid loss for the next 24 hours. Here's where time series forecasting comes into the picture, which leads us to what our research paper is all about. Time series is just a set of values separated with a uniform time interval. For example, some measurements at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, etc. So there are many methods available for time series forecasting today. A traditional approach is using statistical methods for this purpose. Though in the recent years, machine learning methods have entered the stage using what's called neural networks which learn by itself only by feeding it data. On the other hand, one can think, why not use both? Research has shown that using a hybrid model might have an advantage when it comes to forecasting future values of a time series. The logic is that statistical models might capture some of the patterns of a time series, while an artificial neural network might capture others. Together they can supplement each other to construct a better result. Peter Jang, a professor at Georgia State University, proposed such a method in one of his research papers. He used a statistical model called ARIMA, combined with an artificial neural network, and his papers showed some interesting results. We decided to take a deeper look at his approach and look at how it fits the problem of forecasting multiple steps in a time series. Throughout the paper, we'll show the results when implementing Chang's method, but in the setting of forecasting multiple steps at a time, which is the case needed for grid owners. We hope you find it interesting!